Guys, today I'm going to be talking about the common mistakes aircraft maintenance engineer apprentices make when studying for their license exam. For you guys that are new to my channel, my name is Peter. I'm a licensed aircraft maintenance engineer and I have hundreds of videos regarding aircraft maintenance engineers. So if you need some information regarding aircraft maintenance engineer, please do not forget to check out those videos. So what are the common mistakes new aircraft maintenance engineer apprentices make when studying for their exam? When it comes to the AME exam, right? When it comes to the AME exam, there are two, I would say two candidates for the AME exam. The first candidate, we're gonna say candidate one, and we have candidate two, right? The first candidates are people that graduate with accreditation. So first candidate, they have accreditation, and candidate two are people that don't have so no accreditation. I'm sorry guys, my Android is not the best, but I'm gonna try to do my best here, all right? So first candidate are people that have accreditation. And what do I mean by accreditation, right? So when you're in school, there's something you have to do, right? You have to make sure you pass all your courses 70% and above. So if you pass all your courses 70% and above, you are gonna graduate with accreditation. And if you don't pass your subject without accredit without accreditation, without if you don't pass your subject seventy percent and above, you don't have accreditation. And what are the advantage of having accreditation and non accreditation? Right. If you have accreditation, you just gotta write one exam, and it's called CARS for A M E. This is a regulation exam, and if you don't have if you don't have accreditation, you gotta write four exams, right? For this video, I'm going to be focused more on people that have accreditation. So people that just got to write the CARS exam, right? Uh, maybe another day I'm going to talk about people that don't have accreditation, people that are trying to write the four exams, right? So what are the most common mistakes I see new apprentices make when studying for this exam?